Panthers, and that is Drew Chimmy, the centre from Gonzaga. He is going to be 23 in a few months' time. He's like a 6'9". Okay, some sites will list him as a power forward, but because you know, he's only 6'9". He averaged 24 points per game, per 36. He averaged nine rebounds, almost four assists. He shot 62% uh, from the field, only 17% from three. 30% usage player. We've got huge exposure to him through the tournament, huge exposure to the fact that he's been playing, it feels like, for seven years. At Gonzaga, we saw a lot of him next last season next to Chet Holmgren. But the concern is, and I, the reason I want to talk about him is because he's a name that everyone knows, right? But is yeah. there are legitimate concerns about how any of this translates to the NBA. Yeah, and you know what's interesting is that Drew and Ryan work out in the same gym in Dallas. So okay. there are times where they are there together or one is coming in, one is leaving. And I've known Drew since he was probably like in seventh or eighth grade. My brother coached him briefly. So I'm very familiar with what, what he can do. I personally think Drew doesn't pass he doesn't pass the eye test as far as like what teams are looking for in today's NBA as far as face the floor, but I think he's a guy that if you put nine other players on the floor and put some people in in the crowd, some butts in the seats and turn the lights on, he is going to be effective. He's probably going to have to work his way up um, just because he he just doesn't have the, the physical tools that teams are necessarily looking for. But we're talking about a guy that's extremely skilled on the block, can finish with either hand, is a very good passer, Again, he may not be a rim protector. He may not be a, a, a great rebounder, but I think that he can come in and and be a guy that can provide some depth off the bench. And I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, maybe I'm unrealistic, but I'm hoping one day the NBA brings the post game back so guys like Drew Tibby can actually have a, a role, on a significant role on the team. But I, I'd say he probably, best case scenario, Late second round pick, maybe even a two way guy. But I also see him as someone that if he ends up in the G League, he's going to put up big numbers there. Okay, so the when I think about Drew Timmy, look, we yeah, we all saw what he did in college. We saw the run in the tournament up until the final game, you know, 36, 28, 21 of the three games um, leading up to that, the final game against UConn. But I think of, and maybe this is just me being uneducated and taking the easy way out and comparing players, but a guy from uh, Iowa two years ago, Luca Gaza, who is a big white guy playing center. He's got a lot of fundamental stuff, a lot of footwork. Um, it's just really big, strong part of his game. Can score when he gets the chance, but there's a lot of other concerns. But yeah, put up huge numbers in college. In the NBA, has occasional little moments, but can't really sort of stick as a full-time rotation player. Is that the sort of path you think that Timmy is probably on? Possibly, and... And the, the biggest difference between the two is I think Garza is obviously bigger, but Garza was a good three-point shooter. Yep. And so that is something to showcase. Even though I've I've watched him play a lot and I've seen him like in, in workouts, he he's he's a he's not a bad shooter in workouts. I thought he he did good at his pro day last week, but yeah, Garza has the size advantage. I think Garza was a better rebounder and a better shooter. And then you see that he's kind of struggled to find time. But I think Garza is someone that can be in the NBA. I don't want to say as long as he wants to be, but I think he can be a guy that sticks around for five, six, seven years in the NBA. It's just up to him if he wants like a bigger role in Europe. Cause I think Garza would be like, I mean, a dynamic Euroleague type player. And I think Drew could end up having a similar situation. Do I fight as the 11, 12, I mean, even, back in roster player or do I try to go somewhere where I can have a significant role? But I think Drew can make a roster. Well, if Drew Timmy came down here, I reckon he'd have like his game would be perfect, I think, for the NBL as well. Just a guy that you know, bashes in inside is strong. He's got that good footwork. I think it I think it'd be amazing if he came down and played in the NBL. Down here the last guy <laughs> 